This is actually a blues from uh, Brownie McGee and Sonny Terry, who were uh, a black uh, pair. Uh, Brownie was the guitarist, and, Ter and Sonny Terry was the blind harmonicist. And played together for many years on both sides of the country, and apparently they liked the West Coast because they had the East Coast blues in this song. This next one is also one that Mississippi John Hurt did and also is played in the old time and bluegrass community called Make Me Down a Pallet on Your Floor. Let's see, it's on the sink here. Yeah, I just have to start up on the floor. Just 
just a pallet on your floor. So this next song is uh, outside of our realm, but we have fun playing it anyway. It's the only song we do by Eric Clapton.
much joy to say goodbye. You can lay your worries down and stay with me. Don't you ever leave. Lay down, Sally. Rest here in my arms. I can make you want someone to talk to. Lay down, Sally. Believe me, so simple. I've been trying all night long to talk to you. Let's play again. Oh yeah, the next one is uh, I rewrote the lyrics to a song called Sweet Sixteen Blues, uh, and I used pretty much the same tune, but and it's, uh, I'm playing in the key of E, but I've got it capoed up to G, which is kind of a boring key that we play in a lot. So, <laughs> am I doing it? Yeah? You're looking at me. Okay. Well, this is... Thank you. 
state the obvious at this point that um, we don't take a lot of just individual breaks we sort of play together Dixieland style and and it's we never do it the same way twice and it's always interesting that happened to be a particularly nice blend I felt like on all, all of our parts all right so we're gonna we're back to Dave Macon for this next song uh, but uh, I learned it off of Woody Guthrie uh, it's called keep your skillet good and greasy let's see now I'm, it's in G, is that right? Yeah, it's in G. Okay. One, two, three, four. They started off playing with Uncle Dave Bacon when he was the cream of the Grand Ole Opry. He was at the top of the list in the 1920s, late 20s and early 30s. <clears throat> so he got these young brothers to play along and they had their harmony vocals and uh, one of the brothers played a tenor guitar which has only four strings and he picked out leads on it which really is kind of proto-bluegrass and sort of sound that they had to do the riffs and fit them into that thing. Anyway, this is one of their <clears throat> western style songs. How many of you have heard coyotes call since you lived here in the North Idaho? Let's see hands of people who have heard coyotes call. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, if, if they aren't right next to you, it's kind of awesome sound. Sounds so mournful to me. It brings back memories of cherished. 
Kirk McGee, and they played in a group called the Fruit Jar Drinkers. Obviously, they're drinking white lightning out of their fruit jars. Um, <clears throat> they like to have those kind of classic names for their bands. Uh, this, and this was recorded on an album. It was the, the title of the album for the McGee Brothers, recorded by Mike Seeger of the New Lost City Ramblers. He went and recorded them because they were kind of falling by the wayside. And so uh, they're identified as being old time music, but the song that, that gave us this title was actually recorded in 1949 by Tennessee Ernie Ford. So it wasn't exactly old time when they were doing it 10 years later, but that's okay. It's still a good song. If you ever worked on a farm, this, uh, this is for you.
aboard the stool. I swear I'm going to swap you for a food on the spoon. Milk them in the morning and I feed them. Milk them in the evening blues. Milk them in the evening blues. Okay, we're going to take a little break. I'm going to see if I can revive my guitar. We'll be back in five.